Welcome back to Minitab Express. In this lesson, we're going to learn about scatter plots, correlation, and regression analysis. The table gives the number of prior convictions and length of sentence for 10 defendants. We want to explore whether or not there's a relationship between sentence length and prior convictions. The first thing we might want to do is take a look at a scatter plot. We're going to click on Graphs, Scatter Plot, and Simple. The Y variable again is the response variable, what we're trying to predict, and we're trying to predict the sentence based on the number of prior convictions. So there we have the scatter plot. And I would say we have roughly a linear relationship. The next thing we might want to do is calculate the correlation coefficient. To do that, you want to click on regression, correlation, and then the two variables. Here we don't distinguish which is the response and which is the explanatory. And we always want the Pearson correlation coefficient, so we'll leave that as it is and click OK. And the correlation coefficient is 0.848, which is pretty good. Next, we might want to plot the regression line and calculate the equation of the regression line. To do that, you click on regression, and it's simple regression here. And again, the response variable is what we're trying to predict, which is the sentence. And the predictor is the prior convictions. We want a linear model. Click on options. We don't worry about confidence intervals right now. We haven't talked about those. If we click on graphs, you may also want to see a residual plot. And the way to do that, don't worry about these residual plots. We haven't talked about them. But check this box, residual versus variable. And we always want the residual versus the explanatory variable, or the prior convictions here, the x variable. And click OK. And we see a lot of analysis here. We see the, the r-squared value, 72. That tells us that 72% of the variation in sentence length can be explained by a linear relationship with prior convictions. And here's the regression equation. Sentence in months equals 14 plus 3 times prior convictions. And then we've got the two graphs, the original data with the regression line and the residual plot. And those are the tools you need for this week's assignment. I hope you have a great week.